starting your journey to financial freedom. Now. Now. You are listening to the New Investor Podcast. This is the Young Investor for the New Investor Podcast and the Saturday Debrief, or I should call it this time the Sunday Debrief, as I was all day in the air yesterday returning from Bangkok in addition to a serious flight delay. Just for the anecdote, I am so remote that every time I fly back home, I'm literally the only foreigner on board the plane. How was your week? Uh, There are a couple of things I really hope happened for you. I really hope that uh, week was the week you decided to change your life and take that leap of faith into investing and that if you did already long ago, that you have held to every one of your stocks uh, so far. And you will notice that I only speak about stocks as I am not diversified into bonds or REITs or any instruments I am yet to understand fully. I am however looking at all of these as to see how they would fit best in my investment strategy. Uh, I am not against diversification, on the contrary, I am against diversification into instruments I do not understand or care for. So I believe that stocks have always done well, historically speaking, and will continue to do well in the long term unless the whole US economy is completely wiped out within the next uh, 10 to 15 years. Now, let me know what are the odds of something like that to ever happen. Uh, There is no easy money guys there is no hack generating uh, what we call passive income demands hard work discipline and perseverance Uh, it demands at least a decade of building a financial infrastructure around yourself and judging by the number of comments received on instagram by most probably fake accounts telling you that they are grateful for some guy who allowed them to make a future uh, uh, and a fortune in one day uh, with bitcoin is simply a lie and i am very sorry to break it to you you will actually lose everything this way uh, most certainly and I understand that it can be scary to say uh, that uh, it will take at least a decade but how about you start with one year I am personally thrilled even if I manage to build a few more hundred dollars of net worth as this is uh, tangible progress I only wish to remind you that I started with $2,600 in February 2018. My financial infrastructure has allowed uh, for my holdings to increase by 2,567% today. Now, the last 50 plus episodes do outline what I have done to put this in place. And there is nothing more valuable to you, I believe, than to start by creating it for yourself. This is what I feel uh, everyone should do early. I know I will not achieve the same figure or the same increase in percentage now, but I have set a few milestones to achieve. I have achieved the first one a few months ago and I am about to reach the next one in July. I believe this is how you should approach uh, building wealth, uh, one milestone at a time. You have created your own system and it works because you make it work and you have all the time in the world to make it work. In the meantime, this is how I feel will allow me to reach my objectives and I will focus on your uh, current profession uh, that uh, on my current profession that I love I will keep increasing my income and I will uh, keep on building side ventures to create other sources of income and those uh, believe me will take me time to match my current income so I will have these uh, two well in place and uh, keep driving them so I'm not an entrepreneur. I, I have never sold anything to anyone or hustled to make a buck since I was five years old. Uh, I know for a fact that only 1% or 2% of entrepreneurs make it in that world and, and, and it is just not for me. So however, I am certain I will do well as an investor. I will keep on building a net worth that will allow me to invest in great businesses probably in my own industry even as this is where I can bring the most value. Now keep working with people as well as something I'm I'm really inspired about. So I also know uh, that this will take time. I am in no rush. I do not care for the Lamborghini at 25. I will be unable to tell you Uh, how you can make it this way. I can only share what has worked for me so far. A thing we need to, you know, to 
the thing we need to my point of view is to be prepared for the next uh, financial crisis as an example as there will be another there is always one we do not know when and uh, or how but be prepared i'm 38 and I was 28 years old when the last crisis hit us. So if you're 28 years old today, you have never lived through one. You have uh, seen only great upsides. Uh, once a crisis hit, your world changes, believe me. I have some practical applications on how to do that that uh, could work uh, for me. I will outline my own uh, way and uh, how I would prepare in the next episode, uh, which I think I will call how the young investor would face the next uh, financial crisis. I wish you all a beautiful weekend ahead. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I really hope that it brings you some additional support on your own journey towards financial freedom. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you stay updated with new episodes. It would mean a lot to me if you follow me on Instagram at the New Investor Podcast. And in the meantime, stay invested, be patient and keep playing the long term game. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.